Good morning. Today is day one of our freezer meal extravaganza. So I am starting with my breads that I'm going to need. So I've got this bread machine going. And I've got this bread machine going. So two different bread machines. Two loaves in each. So this, this part shouldn't take too long, hopefully. Hopefully I can get all the breads done today. We're going to do about 12 loaves of sandwich bread and let's see two batches of rolls and probably two batches of buns like hamburger buns and i may do a batch of like sub rolls or something i don't know i don't know i just want to get all my breads done Good morning. We're back in the kitchen this morning. We're on day three of our freezer meal extravaganza. Y'all, yeah, we're starting out I, first, okay? I asked Aiden what he wanted to start out with today, and he chose, what did you choose? Um, I chose breakfast. He did. He's still in his jammies. <laughs> So we're working on breakfast this morning, y'all. I got a ton of recipes that we're going to do. Um, so y'all want to stick around for that. Of course, I've got, you know, some of the old faithfuls. I'm working on... I'm working on sausage balls right now. And y'all, I've, I've made these a million times on here. Y'all know how to make sausage balls, I'm sure. Three easy ingredients. So I'm not even gonna. I'm not even gonna worry about showing y'all making sausage balls. Okay, we're gonna do these, and we're gonna do. And I done forgot how many cups of Bisquick I put in there. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Does it matter how many cups you put of Bisquick in there? Well, it kind of does. Yeah, but. <laughs> Whatever, it'll be fine. It will be. It will be fine. It'll be fine. So, yeah. Uh, I've got my prep station set up over there. That's what all that is. I have got my dishes done. That's what all that back there is. So, yeah. I've got a clean sink right now. So, we're just going to get these done. And this is going to be our breakfast this morning, ain't it? Yeah, but if uh, you didn't know, um, I like getting pizza Lunchables and then grabbing the sauce and just getting a little bit like this. <laughs> Alright, y'all. I'm fixing to have to get my hands in these sausage balls. I need to turn my oven on. 375. Let it preheat. And get these done. So we can move on to the new recipes and I can show y'all what we're making. I may do a couple of clips of, you know, the ones that I've already made here on the channel. Just to show y'all that I made them. Let y'all know what's going on. But other than that, I will not bore you with the same old stuff. So... Let me get these sausage balls mixed up. So, we're hungry Hi. this morning. Hi. All right, guys. It is time for us to get one of our new recipes going. This is the, <laughs> I've lost the recipe, hold on. All right, this is the tater tot breakfast casserole. 
I've got a number 13. I'm going to spray it with some cooking spray, just lightly. And then we're going to take a 30 ounce bag of these crispy crowns. You can do regular tater tots if you want to. This is what I have, okay? And that's how I came up with all these things that I'm making. I went through my pantries and my freezers, saw what I had, and if I didn't already have a recipe for those items that I had, then I got online and I typed in the stuff that I had and found these recipes, and y'all, they sound really good. So that's how I did it. And yeah, the only thing that I had to get was eggs, okay? I didn't have enough eggs for all the recipes, so I did have to run and grab some more eggs. Nothing major. That was it. The rest of this is coming out of my pantries and freezers. If you've been here for a while, you've seen me bring this stuff in. So, there's that. We're going to scoot that to the back. We're going to bring this forward. Y'all, I just wanted quick and easy recipes that I could do, that we can get in the freezer, that, you know, I can split up. I'm going to split this casserole up into individual servings. And then that way, as Paps is heading out the door to go to work, he can reach in one of the freezers, whichever freezer this is in. He can grab one out, take it to work with him. He's got breakfast. Okay, that's what I'm looking for. So, in our bowl, we're going to put 12 eggs. We're going to add 4 ounces of the recipe calls for Monterey Jack. Now, I don't have Monterey Jack. I have Colby Jack. That's what we're going to throw in here. Use what you have. So, I'm going to do probably about half of this bag. We're going to add one cup of whole milk. The recipe actually calls for whole milk. And of course, y'all know what I'm using. We're going to do half a teaspoon of salt, a quarter teaspoon black pepper. We're going to whisk all this together. Now the recipe doesn't call for this. It calls for bacon on top after it's done. John putting bacon in here. I am. I cooked up a big old pack of bacon so that I could have it for this. And Aiden and I can have some for breakfast this week if we so choose. I love cooking up a bunch of bacon and just having it in the fridge so that I can heat it up and eat it up in the mornings makes breakfast so easy so easy i try to do that but sometimes you know life happens i gotta go wash my hands now we're just going to mix this bacon in here with this and that was about six slices that i put in and then we'll put more oh we we will put more on top you know what? I'm going to salt, since the only salt is what little bit is in, uh, in there, I am going to salt these potatoes. I'm just going to use my little shaker. I'm going to put some salt on there, because I do not want them plain. They're just, ugh, no. Alright, there's that. Now, we're just going to put this mixture... Get all that off. We're going to pour it over top. I have got my oven already preheated to 350 degrees. Get all that out. We're going to pop this in the oven. I'm going to spread that bacon out just a wee bit so that you get a little bit with every bite. There we go. Some of that needs to come over here. 
because this side looks a little lonely. Just a wee bit lonely. There we go. That's better. That makes me happy. Okay. Let's get that tater tot pushed down in there. Don't want that sticking up like a sore thumb. All right. Now we're going to put, I'm going to wipe my hands off. Now we're going to put about half this bag or four ounces of sharp cheddar over top. And I want to make sure it's got a good cheesy layer on top. Cover all those potatoes, all the things. Yeah, we're going to use all of it. Y'all, if y'all just want to use the four ounces, you can, but this is how I'm doing it. Okay. If I'd have thought of it, I could have fried up some sausage and added that in here too. That would have been good. That would have been real good. All right. There we go. We're going to put this in the oven, 350, 40 to 45 minutes, or until... It has set, and the cheese is golden brown, okay? So, into the oven we go. Oh, Lordy. I'm going to set my timer for 40 minutes. We'll start checking it then, see how it's doing. Now I'm going to go clean this mess up. So while our tater tot breakfast casserole is in the oven, which all it's only got about 10 more minutes, we're going to throw together these blueberry oatmeal bars. So hopefully this comes together really quick. Fingers crossed. It should. So I have got old-fashioned oats. If you want to use um, quick oats, I'm sure that would work just fine. And I'm going to grab one cup of these oats. I forgot to melt my butter, so I'm putting six tablespoons unsalted butter in the microwave, and we're going to get that going. But back over here, I am going to add three quarters of a cup of all-purpose flour, one third of a cup of light brown sugar, half teaspoon or so of ground cinnamon, quarter teaspoon kosher salt, and then we're going to pour the six tablespoons of melted butter over the top, but before I do that, and y'all that cup got hot in my microwave, I'm going to mix all this together before we pour that on. Alright, in goes the butter. Now we're going to mix this up. Look at there. So now, I'm going to take this hot cup over here to the sink. Get that out of my way so I don't keep hitting it. So now I'm going to take half a cup of this mixture. We're going to put it in here. That's about a half a cup right there. I love being in my kitchen. It's one of my safe places. It's one of my safe havens. And this is what I love to do. This is one of the places that I go when I'm having a tough time. All right, to the sink. Before we finish that blueberry or those blueberry bars, our casserole is ready. Look at that. Look. It is set. It is done. Y'all, it smells so good. So good. So now I've got to find somewhere to put this and let it cool for a little while. Let me go figure this out. All right, we got that took care of. So now I'm going to bump this temp up to 375 on the oven, and I'm gonna go grab, whoop, I'm gonna grab my blueberries that I've got over here in the sink, 
we're going to get them put in here. Now, the recipe calls for, <clears throat> excuse me, fresh blueberries, okay? I don't have any fresh ones. I have frozen ones. I've let them thaw completely. I have drained them, and I have rinsed them and drained them again. So, that way, they're good to go. So, let me see. So, we're going to put half of these blueberries over top if you're using fresh that's fine this is a 10 ounce bag of blueberries and the recipe said about two cups so we're we're close okay and then we're going to sprinkle about a teaspoon of cornstarch over top there we go there we go there's about a teaspoon of cornstarch over top of that. Now we're going to put about a tablespoon of lemon juice. Again, the recipe calls for fresh lemon juice. I don't have fresh. I have this. So that's what we're going to go with. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Now we're going to put a half a tablespoon uh, of sugar over top. We're going to add the remaining berries. We're just going to, again, sprinkle, sprinkle. Then we're going to add another half tablespoon of sugar over the top of those yum yum there we go and now we're going to pull these this half cup of crumbs their wording not mine and we're going to sprinkle these over top so good so good all right get all that off my hands because i want it all in there all right, this is going into a 375-degree oven. Y'all, look how pretty. 375-degree oven for 30 to 40 minutes or until the fruit is bubbly and the crumb topping smells toasty and looks golden. Their words, not mine, okay? So, into the oven it goes. Timer set, 30 minutes. We move on to the next. All done, I got four bags, plus I put about a half a bag in the fridge for us to have for breakfast in the morning, or to go with breakfast in the morning, we'll see. So I always, double protect my food going into the freezer so i'm going to throw these into a gallon freezer bag and zip that thing up get all the air out of it that i possibly can just like that and there we go voila sausage balls are done Headed to the freezer. So we're going to finish up this <laughs> tater tot casserole, breakfast casserole, okay? So I have got about six more slices of bacon here, and I am just cutting through it, crumbling it up a little bit. And we are going to get it sprinkled onto the top of this casserole. Looks like a pretty good mixture there. Pretty good. Get all these little pieces of bacon. All right, so we're just waiting on this to cool. And this one is done. Alright y'all, we're getting started on mixing up this, our first 
baked oatmeal. And it is chocolate peanut butter baked oatmeal, which sounds delicious. So we're going to get started with this. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to mash up two bananas. To that, we're going to add one and a half cups of milk, two eggs, four tablespoons peanut butter. You can use creamy or crunchy, whatever one you like. I need a third of a cup of brown sugar or you can use maple syrup. Y'all, my maple syrup lid, I ain't gonna lie to you. I ain't. My maple syrup lid is stuck on there hard. <laughs> and uh, it's gonna take the power of me and Pat's both to get it off of there. So, we're just going to use brown sugar, okay? It, it, that's just the way it is. <laughs> only happens to me of course of course all right now we're going to add two teaspoons of vanilla or you can use vanilla paste now we're going to mix all this up i'm going to take this over to the sink get it out of my way we're just going to mix all this up there we go we're going to add three cups of oats. Next, we're going to add one half cup of cocoa, one teaspoon baking powder, half teaspoon salt, three fourths of a cup of chocolate chips. I have this little bag open of the mini chocolate chips, so I'm just going to finish it off. It's probably a little over three quarters of a cup but that's okay it'll be fine now we're just gonna mix this up Whoop. there we go y'all now the recipe says that you can put this in muffin cups and make your muffins with it y'all I'm just putting it in one of my baking dishes I've got to use my muffin cups for another recipe. Whoops! So, there's that. Alright, let me go grab a spatula. Alright, I've just got this bacon dish sprayed very lightly. And we're just going to get this poured in. I am trying my best to get Paps to love it as much as we do. Uh, so, that's another reason for doing this chocolate one. I did make a chocolate one one other time and y'all I wasn't a fan of it so I, I know. <laughs> I totally understand why he didn't like it. Okay. <laughs> it was it was not good. But this is a big old Reese cup in a just oh my oh goodness I mean Holy cannoli, how can you not love this? Yes, I am going to sneak a little bite here. Oh, oh, that's good. Oh, <laughs> that is, that's wonderful. All right, there's one. Let's get the others mixed up now. So we can get them all in the oven together. Alright guys, it's time to make our cinnamon roll baked oatmeal. Ooh, this is one of my favorites. And y'all, I have shown this on the channel before. Uh, but it's worth showing again, I think. So I'm going to add two and a half cups of oats. Third of a cup of brown sugar. Two whoops two teaspoons of cinnamon one teaspoon of baking powder half teaspoon of salt we're going to mix this together to this we're going to do two cups of milk quarter cup of heavy cream one egg one teaspoon of vanilla now the recipe says you can add 
a half a cup of chopped walnuts. And I am deciding whether or not I want to add walnuts in here, okay? I like walnuts. Just don't know that I want them. Mm, I don't know. <laughs> I just don't know. What would y'all do? Would you add the walnuts? Okay, you talked me into it. All right. Walnuts going in. Now we're gonna mix everything together. All right, now we're gonna put it into our lightly greased pan here. Baking dish, whatever. And we are just gonna even this out in our dish. Y'all, this is gonna look a little wet, okay? It's fine, it is fine. Ooh, it's so good. All right, there is number two ready to go in the oven. All right, y'all, it's time for our last baked oatmeal. This one is pumpkin pie baked oatmeal, but y'all, I didn't feel like digging into the very bottom of my freezer, my big freezer for the pumpkin. <laughs> so I went and grabbed two pints of my home canned sweet potatoes and y'all I made my own puree so we're going to do sweet potato baked oatmeal okay that's what we're doing so there is our sweet potatoes in there excuse me oh thank you we're going to do two eggs so we're going to do one and a quarter cup of milk Of this. You will not eat that. That is not good. <laughs> He's wanting a spoon of that. That is not good. One third cup of brown sugar. Y'all see in a pattern here with these recipes? Do, 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 do. So the, the recipe calls for a quarter cup pure maple syrup. Again, can't do it. So I'm going to add the quarter cup of brown sugar. There we go. One teaspoon vanilla. And then we're going to mix. Okay, now we're going to do two and a half cups old-fashioned oats. Can I eat the oat? No. A single oat? No. <laughs> One single oat? No. <laughs> One single oat? Two teaspoons baking powder. One tablespoon pumpkin pie spice. If there was any left, then... Now, if you don't have me. pumpkin pie spice, you can make your own cinnamon, cloves, nutmeg. Very easy. You can Google the recipe. And see that? Yum, yum, yum. One tea get out of there. One teaspoon of salt. Then we're gonna mix this together. I want blueberry pie. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. That's it. That's our that's our last one. So let's get this pulled over here. And again, I have sprayed it lightly. So we're gonna get that poured in. Y'all, this one smells so good. Now, you're not supposed to put the glaze on this stuff if you're gonna put it in the freezer for a freezer meal. 
But let me guess, we are going to do it anyway. That saddens my heart. I, I don't know, we'll see. I was reading the recipe for the blueberry, um, oatmeal blueberry bars, and it, yeah, it said don't put the glaze on there. You know, that's the part of it that we like. All right, there's number three. These are going to go in the oven 375 degrees for about 25 to 30 minutes, okay? Just depending on your oven. So let me get these put in the oven. Let's get these baked oatmeals going because we got other stuff to make again. So now we are starting our last recipe of the day. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> and I am getting two pounds of breakfast sausage. Put in my skillet. I'm going to brown it up. So here's our chocolate peanut butter baked oatmeal. Y'all, Pap says he's excited to get home and try this. Our cinnamon roll baked oatmeal. We're fixing to make a glaze to go on top of that. It's not the same without the glaze. And our sweet potato baked oatmeal. I'm going to make enough glaze to go on top of this too. All right, y'all, here are our breakfast freezer meals. I've got 34 meals. This is our glaze that we had extra, and we'll throw it in the freezer. This is our blueberry oatmeal bars. Y'all, they're so good. 34 meals here, okay? 34 servings, 34 meals. And then add on to that all of the sausage balls that comes up to about 45 meals we got it all done in one day okay it took me about six hours to get all this done that's prep time and everything it's going to take me about that much to get all those done just saying but yeah i took about six hours got all this done going in the freezer y'all I am happy. I am happy. I am happy. And all of this was pulled from my pantries and my freezers with the exception of eggs. So you can't beat that. You can't beat that with a stick. Did I happen to mention that today was laundry day too? Because it was. Okay. <laughs> Y'all all those breakfasts we taste tested everything okay all the things i got paps to liking baked oatmeal he loved that chocolate peanut butter baked oatmeal y'all i didn't even realize i didn't even think that that would be so close to what we call cow patties okay <laughs> it's the no baked cookies y'all so good so good and the fact that he likes it, huge accomplishment. And he loved the cinnamon roll baked oatmeal too. So, winner, winner there. He wasn't real keen on the sweet potato, but he's not a sweet potato or pumpkin kind of guy. Okay? I loved it. I loved it. Those blueberry bars, mwah, so good. So good and y'all I want to try different flavors of that I think raspberries will be amazing oh my gosh I can't think of anything that wouldn't be good on those blueberries are amazing okay I had one epic fail and that was the McGriddle muffins no Mm -mm. No, <laughs> no, no, those were not good, so I've got all that mix left, <laughs> of course I doubled it, you know, <laughs> of course I did, uh, so I've got all that mix left, it's in the fridge, I'll figure out what to do with it tomorrow, I'll come up with something, 
We did it, y'all. We did it. It would not have taken me all that time, six hours, to get all that done if I hadn't been doing laundry right along with it. Okay, it seemed like every time I got on a good roll, then I had a load of laundry that had to come out and get folded and all that. Yes, I fold my laundry. <laughs> as soon as it comes out of the dryer, it gets folded and put up. So, yeah, it took me a little, little extra time to get everything done. But we did it. I'm exhausted. Uh, yeah, my hair is falling everywhere. That's okay. It's out of my face. It's cool because we had the oven going all day long. So, yeah. anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed these little recipes because y'all, they are awesome with the exception of one. So, thank y'all for watching. Thank y'all for being here. Thank y'all for supporting our little channel. Y'all, it felt so good to be in the kitchen again today. It just did. It just did. Now, day one and day two, I did my breads, okay? And I've got a ton of videos showing my recipe for my loaf bread, my rolls, my buns, and all that. It's pretty much the same recipe. They're just shaped different. That's about it. And then... I did bagels the following day and I've done a couple of videos on my bagels too so I will try to remember to link them in the description so you guys can go if you want to go see my my recipe with that for those things then I'll, I'll link them in the description you guys can go watch that video and get the recipe and all the things so anyway much love to each and every one of you guys and Y'all, I'm back in the kitchen tomorrow. Aiden has not decided what we're going to be working on tomorrow, but I'm sure he will have an opinion. So, I will be back in the kitchen doing something. Love y'all. Bye.